Hey everyone, it's Christopher Dean, and today we're going to jump into After Effects and create animated tab bar icons like this that go from their enabled state to their selected state, just like almost every other app in the world. And export them as LUTTY files. So let's go. Okay, and to do this tutorial, you're gonna need After Effects, and then one of Sketch, Figma, or Adobe XD, and also two extensions and plugins called AX and Body Movin. So if you don't have those and wanna know how to install them, then you can watch my Set Up Your Mac to Create Lottie Animations video here or here. Once you've done that, come back and we'll begin. And the first thing you need is this file. It contains a Sketch, Figma and Adobe XD version of the file that you'll need to do this tutorial. I'll put a link to it in the description of this video. So go download it, open it somewhere on your hard drive, and then we'll take a look. And here's the files. After Effects, animated tab bar icons for Lottie in Figma, Sketch, and Adobe XD versions. Let's import this one into Figma. And here in Figma, I'm gonna to go to the top right and select the import icon. Go and find my file and select open. Open it up, and here we go. We've got the file open. There's a bit of a graphic there, but we're really gonna be focused on the tab bar here and the icons. Now, this is a component, so I'm gonna to go to Assets, tap on it here, and it's brought me to that asset along with all the other components. And these are the ones we're gonna be exporting with the AX plugin into After Effects. It's got everything else there for you if you just wanna play around with it and get to know the file, but really, we want to zoom in on this home icon. So let's go back to the layers, open it up. You can see that it's got home selected and home. If we turn off home selected, you'll see the normal enabled state, and then you'll see the selected state. So once we send this over to After Effects, we're going to have the bounding box, then home, then home selected. And we're going to be animating the opacity of home selected and home to transition between the enabled and selected states for all of the icons. And to do that, let's open up the AX plugin. Let's go to Plugins, Development, AX. And again, I showed you how to do that in the setup video. Let's drag this up to the top right. And you can see it's got Send Selection to AE. Let's select that and see what happens. Okay, failed to connect to AE. That's because we need After Effects open and the AX extension open to be able to receive the information we're trying to send to it. Let's go do that now. And with After Effects opened, let's go to Window extensions, and then AX. And inside the AX panel, we've got new comp, which is what we want. The comp size multiplier, I'm gonna leave at 4X. So that means the icon that is 24 by 24 pixels inside Figma will come through at four times that and we'll be able to animate it and see it a lot clearer. Then when you hand it over to your developer after we've exported it as a Lottie file, you can tell them to make it 25% its size or fit inside a container that is 24 by 24 pixels. Everything else will leave the same and then we'll go back to Figma and try and send it over again. Back in Figma, let's select the home icon, then go send to AE again. And it brought everything over in uh, about a second. Let's zoom into that icon. You can see it's a bit pixelated, even though we've got full resolution settings there. And uh, this is what I mean by bringing in a 24 by 24 pixel icon. This would be very pixelated, but here we can zoom out and see it a little bit clearer. Now, I am working on a 4K monitor, which just compounds that issue but let's move ahead. If you come down to the layers on the left, we've got home selected, home and bounding box. I'm just gonna turn off bounding box and then open up home selected. And you can do that with that little arrow there to the left. Go to contents, home selected. And this is where you can see its path. There you go, all the path points. You can open fill and a color swatch that you can change to whatever you like. But let's keep it at blue. Now, I'm just gonna close that and then turn it off so we can see the enabled state. This has two paths that are then booleaned by the merge path. And then we've got fill, which at the moment is a very dark gray. Now you could make that a little lighter to something like that. But for this tutorial, I'm just gonna stick with the very dark gray. Okay, so let's close both of those up and then go into the sketch file and send an icon over from there to show you how that works. And in the sketch file, we've got the same elements. So let's go down and select the tab bar Double click on it, which is gonna take us to the symbols page, where we can now zoom in and then select the search icon. 
Now let's go open plugins AX and send selection to AE. Okay, this has brought this in in the same After Effects file, which is great. Now we have icon home and icon search, and it's created similar layers like search selected search. You can turn that off and on there. Let's turn off bounding box like we did before. Let's open up search selected and take a look. And it's brought in everything pretty much the same as AX does for Figma. So that's good to know that AX can translate information that's being sent from Figma and Sketch in a very similar way. And if we come up here to the project panel and drop down this folder, you can see that each icon has been brought in as a composition and it's pretty tidy. We double click on that, we see home, double click on that, we see search. Before we jump into Adobe XD and send an icon over from there, let's just save this file. So I'm gonna to go to file, save, then in the same folder that has all the other files, I'm just gonna select one of them, go to the end of the name and remove Figma. There we go. Let's go into Adobe XD. And in Adobe XD, we've got everything on the same canvas. So we're gonna just come down here and zoom in. And let's select this icon. Okay, now the difference between Figma and Sketch with the AX plugin and Adobe XD is that Adobe XD can send things from itself to After Effects automatically. But let's see what happens when we do that. Let's go to File, Export, After Effects. Okay, and you can see it's brought it in as a composition, but if we go into that composition, then it's still 24 pixels by 24 pixels. The layers have come in really well, just like before. There we go. But yeah, to bring them in at four times their size, you would have to go back to Adobe XD and then make them four times their size and then bring them in that way. I like the way that it's handled with AX and Sketch and Figma. So let's go and choose one of them to send the rest of the icons in. And to make this fair, let's use wheeler names to choose between the two. Let's click the spin and find out who it's gonna be. Ooh. Figma. All right, so let's jump into Figma and send the rest of the icons over. Back in Figma, let's go down to icon add. Select it, go up to AX and select send selection to AE. Then go back to Figma and keep sending them over. Next up is icon bag. Then finally icon profile. And that's it, we're now ready to animate. But let's do a bit of cleanup. Adobe XD brought in this folder and this comp. I'm just gonna select both of those and delete them. I'm gonna go up to home, open it up and then animate our first icon. And when we do this, we can think about how the developer is gonna use them inside the app. Lottie files can be played forwards and backwards. So we only really need the forwards animation that we can then control programmatically once we hand it over to the developer. And before we begin animating, let's make sure that home selected and home layers are both turned on. We're then gonna to go to the home selected layer, then hit T on your keyboard for opacity. And this little clock on the left here is gonna set our first keyframe, so let's hit that. Then hold down command shift right arrow once, set another keyframe, then come back to the beginning and then dial this down to zero. So we're going from enabled to selected. Let's then select the home layer, hit T again, set a keyframe there, drag over to here, set another one, but this time we're gonna set this side to zero. So when the person using the app taps on this icon, it quickly goes from enabled to select. Well, that's really fast, right? And that's basically all you need. If you can play this forward and also play it backward inside a Lottie file, you could go here, hit N on your keyboard. That's gonna bring the work area to the end of your animation. Then right click and go trim comp to work area. Now, if we preview that, it looks like a strobe light. But if a person taps on the icon once to set the selected state and then taps on another icon to then play it backwards to its enabled state, that's all we need to do for each file. So let's copy these keyframes into the other icons and set them up. Just gonna click and drag on the keyframes on the home selected layer, Command C to copy them. The tab for icon search is already here, so I'm gonna click on that. Select the search selected layer and make sure the playhead is at the beginning and then paste them. If I then hit U on my keyboard, the keyframes will come up. You can see them there. 
Let's go and grab the keyframes for the other layer. Same thing, click and drag, copy, paste. Hit N on your keyboard to set the work area, then right click and trim comp to work area again. Then just keep repeating that process. Bring those keyframes over to here. Bring these ones over to here. Hit U on your keyboard, go to the end, hit N, right click, trim comp. Top keyframes, bottom keyframes, you on your keyboard, N, trim comp, we're almost there, one more to go. Top keyframes, bottom keyframes. N trim comp. We now have a complete set of strobe light icons. Okay, let's go into all of them and make sure that bounding box is turned off. And then let's just check to make sure they're all working. Okay. Okay, let's go and select one icon to export as a Lottie file with the body moving extension. And let's go back to Wheel of Names to find out who's gonna be the lucky icon. Let's go. Profile. Okay, let's go back to After Effects and export the winner. And back in After Effects, let's go to Window, Extensions, Body Moving. And in the Body Moving panel, Let's go down to Icon Profile 24, go to the left and select it. Here we go. Let's open up Settings, and this is where it tells you what you're going to include. We can pretty much leave it at glyphs, but if selected, it converts fonts to shapes. Hidden, select if you need hidden layers to be exported, not really. Guides, select if you need guided layers to be exported. Extra comps, and then any other assets. So a Lottie file can be translated vector information like this and even include images that you have in your After Effects comp. Let's go save. And to the right here, we've got three dots. I'm gonna select that and then save the file that it's about to create. And they format as a JSON file, which is like animated SVG. So let's click that. Now the default name that Body Moving always creates is data, but let's save this as icon profile. We might as well call it 24 as well, so the developer knows what size it should be. And let's select Save. Now, we now can select Render inside Body Moving. Let's do that and see what happens. Okay, now let's select Done. We didn't get any errors, which is good. But let's select Preview. Then Current Renders. Select the icon. Then come down and play it. And again, it's going too fast, so let's pause and then drag the playhead forward. And we can come up to the right here and change the background color to white. Okay, this is how you can preview it inside Body Moving when you're working inside After Effects. What if you want to preview it on a device? What do you do then? Well, there's a site called Lottie Files that has a preview feature, and after you set up an account, you can drag your JSON files in, which will then preview inside the browser, that then creates a QR code that you can scan with their preview app so you can see what it looks like inside iOS and Android. Now I've got an iPhone, so I'm gonna use that. But let's go to Lottie Files and see what that looks like there. And at the Lottie Files site, if you've got an account like me, you can just log in or get started and create one of your own. Then we'll preview the file once you're logged in. Once you've created an account and logged in, you'll be at your dashboard. From here, you can just drag the file straight into the website. And look at that, I misspelled it. Okay, ProGuile. That's better, Icon Profile. Wonder how many of you are thinking, what's a ProGuile icon? Who knows? Okay, let's just drag that in. It's gonna upload it. Okay, it's going crazy just like it did in After Effects, but I'm gonna pause this. You can see this QR code here. So I'm gonna go and install or open the Lottie Preview app and then point it at this QR code and then show you what it looks like. Once you've got the app open and you're logged in, you're gonna see the dashboard here. I'm gonna go down to Preview. 
that's going to bring out the camera and say hello to yourselves, everyone. Now let's go and look at that QR code. And there we go, but we need to pause it and then we can scrub from enabled state to selected state. We can also select the edit icon and change the color of the background. Let's bring them all over to the left. Close that and then play it again. And like I said, you can go from the enabled state to the selected state once the person has selected that icon or selected that area of the app and then get your developer to play the icon backwards programmatically to bring it back to its enabled state. And from here, once you know that the icon works, you can share a link to it so other members of your team can preview it as well. You might have a PO that you want to get approval from. You can send the asset there, but I normally supply the assets of the JSON files directly to the developers. Yeah, and that's it. You started in Figma or Sketch or Adobe XD. You exported the icons from there over to After Effects, animated them, and then spat one out as a JSON file that we then previewed as its Lottie version inside Lottie Files and Lottie Preview with their site and the app. Once that's done, you can send them all over to your developer. Then they can work with you to make sure they work inside your tab bar. And I'll put the links to the Lottie Files site and where you can download their app in the description of the video. But that's it, everyone. We're done. So once again, I hope you're taking care out there, looking after yourselves and each other, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.